Leopard 2 is one of the brightest NATO tanks. It was adopted into use just before the end of the Cold War. The task of Leopard 2 was to stop the Soviet tank avalanche. Recall that the zone of Soviet occupation in Germany was 67,000 square miles. The Soviets concentrated 5,000 tanks in this area. Fortunately, the Soviet Union collapsed. But today, Russia wants to regain its former influence and territories. And again, like many years ago, Leopard 2, manufactured by Krauss Mayfi Wegman, KMW, is called to stop Russian expansion. No one in the world makes tanks better than Germany does. What is the secret of Leopard 2? Leopard 2 was designed to be the most advanced tank of the Cold War era. No one could have imagined that the Cold War would end, but it did. The Europeans no longer needed to achieve parity with the USSR. As a result, about 3,600 units have been produced since the start of production. Now it turned out that Leopard 2 remains the best in the 21st century. Therefore, it is still being produced, and old modifications are undergoing drastic changes. After the Russian aggression against Ukraine, the German military budget has increased markedly, so we will see even more Leopard 2s. It is possible that they will appear in the Ukrainian theater of operations. The German tank is so good that many countries that have it in service refuse to buy new American Abrams, British Challengers 2, or French Leclercs, not to mention Russian T-90s. They prefer to equip older Leopard 2s with more modern fire control systems and new protective equipment. For example, Singapore has carried out a deep modernization of its Leopard 2A4 and brought them to the new Leopard 2SG standard. The Singaporeans installed a new armor kit and increased defense to the level of the Leopard 2A4 evolution. And Indonesia has installed the latest firing control system, fully electric gun and turret devices, and cameras with all-around view. Air conditioning is added to the package, which is very important for a tropical climate. But the most interesting thing is that the regular Leopard 2 gun is now capable of firing Rheinmetall DM-11 projectiles, which have a programmable fuse. The Dutch version of the Leopard 2 tank is outwardly distinguished by the presence of six smoke grenade launchers, an FN anti-aircraft machine gun on a carriage, and cutouts in the Caterpillar chain protection for the crew to climb. A French FM-9000 radio telephone is installed in the cab, and the driver's observation device has the option of a video signal amplifier. The Swedish version of the Leopard 2 even received a separate name, Stridsvagen 122, or Striv 122. The tank has additional turret protection and a Barracuda camouflage system that shields against heat. Experience in Afghanistan has shown that Barracuda protects not only from heat, but also from enemy thermal imagers. The Swedish Striv 122 received a separate modular tank command and control system, which includes an electronic map of the area, a target identifier, and a safe-for-eyes Raman laser. The most advanced modification of the German Leopard 2 tank to date is the Qatari version of the Leopard 2. It even surpasses the version for the Bundeswehr. Qatari tanks receive new thermal sights for the commander and gunner, an improved fire control system, all-round video cameras, and a remotely controlled weapon station FLW-200 with stabilization and a cooled thermal imager. The FLW-200 weapon module with machine gun or grenade launcher allows for accurate fire from inside the tank, a very useful option for urban combat or operations in mountainous areas when the shooter on the lower tank is at high risk of being killed by a sniper or a grenade fragment. As you can see, Leopard 2 is good because it allows one to customize the combat vehicle to the needs of a particular customer. Customization is possible from one unit to industrial scale. That is, you buy an old 1979 Leopard 2 and turn it into a fourth generation tank with attachments. If necessary, the Leopard 2 can be converted into the FFG Wisnet 2 Armored Recovery Vehicle, the PZH-2000 Self-Propelled Howitzer, or the Panzer Schnellbruch 2-Bridge Layer. Thanks to its successful design, the Leopard 2 became the most successful Western main tank in export markets. It is operated by 21 countries. This is a lot. 
For example, the American M1 Abrams is in service with six countries, and the British Challenger II and the French Leclerc, in addition to their armed forces, have only one buyer each. Israeli Merkava tanks, Italian C-1 Ariat, Japanese Type 10, Korean K-2 Black Panther are practically not exported at an industrial scale at all. Although these are worthy vehicles, which we will definitely tell you about. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss these videos. The success of the Leopard 2 is, of course, due to the genius of the German engineers. After the defeat of Germany in World War II, the country managed to preserve its engineering traditions. Germany very quickly regained its leadership in many areas of industry, from the production of steel, elevators or cars, to the creation of tanks. Leopard 2 has a classic layout. The motor transmission unit is located in the stern, the main combat unit in the middle, control unit in the frontal. One might wonder, where is the secret? Many tanks have this layout, but none can match the Leopard 2. There are many secrets. For example, the ratio of the curb weight of a tank to its dimensions and the power of the power plant can be considered exemplary. Virtually all Leopard 2 models are equipped with a V-shaped 12-cylinder four-stroke liquid-cooled twin-turbo diesel engine. The power of the German unit is 1,500 horsepower. This is more than enough for a 62-ton machine. For comparison, the most modern serial Russian tanks, T-90, has a power rating ranging from 840 to 1,000 horsepower. Moreover, the Leopard 2 engine is also capable of consuming kerosene and gasoline without loss of power. Such omnivorousness is an important characteristic in a major war and the fuel crisis that usually accompanies it. But the main advantage of the Leopard 2 engine is that it is a single building block. Replacement of the unit in the field can be done in 15 minutes. Unbelievable when you know that replacing an engine on an Abrams would take 60 minutes, while repairing a Russian T-90 engine takes about six hours for mechanics. Below are the important nuances to begin with, which make the German tank a cult one. The frontal part of the Leopard 2 has a large angle of inclination, 81 degrees, and the tank's turret has a wedge-shaped shape. This is important because the angles make a direct hit with most types of projectiles difficult. The thickness of the frontal armor is 59 inches, but the angle of inclination increases the thickness to the equivalent of 71 inches of plate armor. There are no such indicators for any modern tank. The Leopard 2 uses a combined armor based on the famous German steel with the addition of hard alloys and ceramics. The result of the hull is protected by multi-layer combined armor, which is able to protect the crew even from weapons of mass destruction. For urban combat, the Leopard 2 is equipped with additional modular armor packages. These can be composite armor packages on the sides of the turret and hull grill or plates that protect against modern rocket-propelled ammunition. It also provides for the installation of additional plates to protect the bottom from mines. The inner surfaces of the tank are covered in aramid fiber mats. This material prevents fragments from scattering if the enemy projectile nevertheless burns through the armor and explodes inside. There is also protection against detonation of its own ammunition and an automatic fire suppression system. The ammunition is located in a separate block, separate from the crew, and at the moment of its detonation, kinetic energy and flame break out through special channels. As you can see, German engineers paid a lot of attention to the survival of the crew, which consists of four people – commander, gunner, loader, and driver. This can also be said about the convenience of controlling for machine and firing. Ease of use, at times, is even more important than the firing range of the gun. The main armament of the tank is a 120mm Rheinmetall RH120 smoothbore gun. The barrel has a heat shield and a fiberglass ejector. Ammunition, 42 shots. After each shot, the cartridge case tray enters the case catcher, which is equipped with a suction to remove the powder gases. After each shot, the crew of the Leopard 2 remembers the creators of the tank with a kind word. A hatch on the left side of the turret is used to remove shells and load ammunition. The survivability of the barrel is at least 500 shots. 
Thanks to the specific connection, the installation and dismantling of the gun during repairs is carried out without removing the tower. And here, the German engineer surpassed many competitors. The RH-120 has a range of up to 20,000 feet. This is not much when compared with the T-90 or Abrams. However, the accuracy of the fire is simply amazing. At the maximum distance from the target, the error does not exceed one foot. The collapse of the USSR, it would seem, deprived German tanks of a chance to take part in hostilities. However, in the late 90s, there was a conflict in Yugoslavia. In June 1999, 28 Leopard 2A5 tanks from the Bundeswehr were transferred to the KFOR forces. However, the Serbs did not have serious weapons at their disposal, so the tanks did not encounter problems. Leopard 2 tanks came in handy during the NATO operation in Afghanistan. Homemade mines became the main anti-tank weapon of the militants. Some tanks were damaged, but the crew survived with the exception of the driver of one tank. He didn't have time to get out of the vehicle. Then there was Syria. Leopard 2A4 tanks ended up there in early December 2016. During the fighting, at least eight Leopard 2s were destroyed. This is confirmed by photographic reports. The main weapons against Leopard 2 were improvised explosive devices and anti-tank missile systems. German engineers drew conclusions, taking into account the new realities of warfare. Just after these cases, Leopard 2 acquired additional protection for the hull and bottom. It is expected that the German tanks will soon be at the disposal of the Ukrainian troops. The intensity of fighting in Ukraine is second only to the times of World War II. The Ukrainian military company can become a real baptism by fire for the Leopard 2.